And this time I'm going to log in and I'm going to specify my kphp database at the command line by just adding kphp at the end. Now if I go show tables, I should see nothing in there. But basically now I'm in the I'm in the client and I'm also in that database. So now we're working within the kphp database. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go back to my bare bones editor and create an empty SQL file for the purposes of this tutorial. And it's often helpful just to have an SQL file lying around that you can work with and work off of, especially if you're dealing with the command line, because the command line doesn't tend to remember things very well. So in the kphp SQL folder that I've created on my desktop, I'm just going to create a SQL file called joins.sql. And we're going to do an introduction to joins. So before we go you know, too far along, I'm going to have to create some tables, obviously. The first table that I want to make is going to be a table for categories. So we're going to look at how we would want to structure a blog. Let's say we have a blog, and in the blog we have postings, like a particular piece of content, and then we have categories. So I want to be able to have categories for my various posts. Now this is called a one-to-many. There is one category and many posts, or many to one. You have many posts that are associated or related to one category. Now the advantage of using a join is that if you decide you want to change that category name, you don't need to go along and start updating all sorts of records for all the posts that have already been categorized. Let me try and illustrate this. So I'm going to start off by saying create table category we need to start with something, right? So I'm going to create a table called category. And actually, let me just bump up my font size here so that it's nice and clear. And that's a little better. OK. So here I'm going to say create table category. And it's going to have an ID which is going to be an integer and a primary key. And it will also auto increment. And what that means is that every time I do an insert statement, it's going to add a new record to my category table. And also I'm going to have a name. And the name will be a varchar. In other words, it's a field of variable length of 300. And the engine is in ODB. And I'm going to explain that in just a minute. So let's just go through this together. So this is SQL, uh, similar to what Steph was doing in that other video, except now we're actually describing how we want this table to look. And here we've got an ID, which is going to be our primary key. And just like in PHP, you can have strings, you can have objects, you can have integers, you can have arrays. Well, in this case, this ID is of type integer. And it's a primary key. And what that means is that MySQL is going to pay pe special attention to this key or this column in this database table. And we'll index it. And this will facilitate in searching and speed things up. And we'll also make sure that there's only one of every one of those rows. And each row can be accessed from its primary key. The auto increment is a handy little feature where when I do an insert, it automatically adds one to the existing ID. So the first thing I put in there is going to have an ID of one. The second thing I put in there is going to have an ID of two, and so on and so forth. The varchar is, again, it's a type, much like the integer, except it's for strings, short strings. And the maximum length of my strings, in this case, is going to be 300. The last little bit at the end is important for relational databases. So here what we're talking about is the engine, the actual structure of our table and how that's going to be stored and accessed within MySQL. Uh, think of it as the difference if you if you remember back in the day when there was FAT32 and NTFS, um, you know there was different file systems, and you had you know different ways of storing data on those file systems. This is a similar kind of uh, structure where 
you can have multiple engines and MySQL is is driving those different engines. Uh, the InnoDB engine is the most current and the one that's suggested at least at this stage in the game and it's great for doing uh, exactly what we want to do today which is relationships between tables. So I'm just gonna select these two lines and hit copy and I'm gonna paste them in here and I shouldn't get any errors which I don't which is good and if I say show tables again I should see that we've got a categories table and if I say describe category I should see that I've got my ID and I've got my name and I've got a primary key with auto increment and if I do an insert into category name values politics and then I do another one let's say international and then I do a select star from category then I'm gonna have an ID of one and an ID of two and politics and international so so far so good so now that we've done this much we're going to make another table and this table is going to be for postings and I'm also going to set up some dummy data here so we have the category for politics and we also want a category for international let's say we want one for technology and another one for entertainment and another one for sports this is a very generic blog we're doing anything and everything and lastly we're gonna have an other category now I'm also gonna create a new table 